Well, we're back out here. Uh, we're down this spot a few weeks ago, weren't we, Mr. Coffee Bush? We were indeed, Dave. It's, a, it's an old rubbishy dump area. We were discussing glass and the, the pick head of the, the old miner's pick, and that is a great little site. It is, and uh, we found a coin here uh, previously that you would have seen on a clip a few weeks ago on the Mine Lab show, but we thought we'd come back this time. We're going to try something a little different. Yep, when I hunt a spot like this, what I really like, Dave, it's a six inch coil and discrimination. So what we're gonna do this time is actually go through all the settings of what I would use for a rubbish yep. dump so that you can actually get the most out of it and you can you can find and get in amongst everything and pull out all the goodies. And leave most of the trash behind. And of course, that is the secret of the six inch coil. Yep. Where there's a lot of rubbish around, guys, putting your six inch coil on is exactly as you said, gonna leave the rubbish behind and hopefully we're gonna find uh, some, well, maybe some more coins. I hope so, Dave. I reckon we should get and have a look at the screen and uh, see how we're gonna do this. All right, well look, we've uh, set this up, Mr. Coffee Bush. We've turned the machine on. Um, we've just got it uh, basically as we turn it on out of the box, really. Yep, pretty much. These are factory presets. So what I'm gonna do for this one, we're just gonna play in park one because you'll be able to use this wherever you, you pretty much go where it's trashy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the cog button and we're gonna work our way over to the accept reject side. So you can see the minus nine and everything. What we're now gonna do is bring the little cursor up and we're gonna start deleting stuff. We can see the little cursor coming up there now. Now what I know is if I was in, if I was wanting to discriminate in a rubbish pile, I'm not going to worry about gold jewelry. And you might go, oh, but you'll miss stuff. I really haven't found much gold jewellery in a rubbish dump. I've pulled out many a silver coin, and that's mostly what I'm going to hunt for, but I'm going to take the discrimination down to take in a half sovereign. Now, an English half sovereign comes in at about 34. So we're going to discriminate, Dave, all the way up to, but not including, 34. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can do this individually by individual targets uh, from memory. So let's uh, have exactly, a look at how we do that now. That's exactly right. We're on three. So I'm going to press the accept reject button there and that gets rid of it. We move forward. We do the accept reject. Plus accept, plus accept. You see how those are being gotten rid of? But what I can do... So if there's no, it's just on that one, Mr. Yep. Coffee Bush, if there's no segment there, basically uh, once we take that segment out, there's no um, uh, sound is going to be come if we get a target in that area. That's exactly right. Now, our numbers are telling us where we're at, but I'm now going to push, because we've already started in that direction, I'm going to push the accept reject button and keep holding it. And we can see there, it's just wiping them out. Okay, so that's a much, much faster way if you're wanting to take out a large number of uh, segments, you can uh, just hold the button down once you've started the process. That's exactly right. And I'm just, just going to work my way up, coming up nicely. There we go. So 33 is out. Yep. 34 is my next one. I want to keep that in. So at this point, you could push the pinpoint button and go back to the main menu, but while we're up this far, I'm going to press the cog button again and we are at the recovery speed. Now what I'm going to do, Dave, is because we know there's a lot of rubbish, we know that the 900 here, the Equinox 900 that we are using, has really good target separation. So I'm actually going to take that flat stick up to 8 so we can get really sharp and pingy between all the signals that we want. So, so just on that, uh, the recovery speed there, yep. basically that's telling us uh, we've set it high on eight. That's the fastest possible setting on the it Equinox is. 900. Yes. What that means is we're actually going to where we hit a target, it recovers very quickly. So if there's another target next to it, we're likely to be able to hear it. That's exactly right. You'll have that really good, really good you know, sound coming in. That we've got one there, we've got one there, we've got one there type thing. Yep. And we can work our way out around it. So, at this point I can either press the cog button or the pinpoint button to get back to the main menu. We'll just go back to there. That's there. Now the other thing I will do, Dave, and everyone loves 
good sensitivity and you, we always say, you know, let the soil tell you how good it is so you can get your sensitivity right up high. In a rubbish dump, which is different to a tip, a tip is where people take their rubbish, it all gets ploughed buried, over yep. and buried and everything like this. A dump is just dumped on top of the ground, so it's only at ground level. So anything that's there is really not going to be much more than two or three inches down. I don't need my sensitivity wound right up high to get down deep because the targets are shallow. Yep. So oh, someone's been playing with this at home, I can see. Yep. I'm going <laughs> to take that up to, I reckon, 18 for a sensitivity is just going to do us perfectly for the day. It should give us enough depth to get anything that is uh, in this uh, dump uh, without uh, uh, overkilling it. Yep, that's yeah. exactly right. It'll be pleasant on the ear and we should be fine. And of course, when you do set your sensitivity anyway, you want to make sure that your machine stays stable. reasonably stable and we don't have uh, a chatty noise. So if we found that this was getting a little bit chatty, we could potentially back it back a little bit more if we needed to. If we need to. We've got a, we actually, even at 18, have a lot of room to manoeuvre. Well, look, uh, that's brilliant, uh, Mr. Coffee Bush. We've been able to knock out some of the rubbish in the lower numbers there. Yep. Still retain um, all of the targets that are from that half sovereign and above. And look, that was pretty simple, really, to set up. Yeah, it is. I, I used to run with this, Dave, lots. And I, I used to think if you can pull a thrippence out of a rubbish dump, you're doing pretty well. Absolutely, and um, it's only a small target uh, in amongst all this dump, as we said. I think with uh, that set up, uh, we should go and see if we can't find another thrippence or maybe even a half sovereign. Oh yes, we will give that a go. We'll come back to you shortly, guys. And let's see how we go here, out in the Whipstick State Park for the Mine Lab Show.